Now there's the story. He's got smoke coming off that rear tire every time he flings any sort of weight onto that tire. There he goes. Oh, Dick Johnson, gone. That car started to lock up as it came under the Dunlop Bridge. You could see something going wrong with the left-hand rear tire as the officials race down to Dick Johnson now. And you could see it there as he went under the braking area, into the braking area, into Rothman's corner. Something locked up at the rear end. It's been the real problem of this motor car for quite some time now that it's been unable to accept hard braking. The rear suspension hasn't been unable to take it. In fact, Johnson has gone for quite some help from uh, sources such as even the Nissan motor came out. There he is, Dick Johnson's out of the car, he's okay. But a very disappointed Dick Johnson. And it just starts to give way there. You can see the rear wheel locking up entirely and there's nothing Dick can do to hold it. It hits the glass and as soon as it hits the grass, it's freewheeling and there's nothing that Dick can do to control it down there. Into the gully. The power that that roll bar must have inside Dick's car because it just crushed down on the cockpit. And I would say that Dick Johnson owes, if not his life, certainly his, uh, his well-being at this